Hello and welcome to another Heroes of the Storm quick tip. Uh, today I want to talk about lightning breath and what some good usage for it is. And basically what you want to be looking for when you go to pop lightning breath. Um, it's a commonly misunderstood talent or misused anyway because it does self-root you and you're in a channel. Which is normally not what Diablos want to be doing. They always want to be moving. They want to be hitting people with cooldowns or autos to get cooldowns or, you know, abusing flips for Eternal Flames resets, stuff like that. And so self-rooting makes uh, kind of a big deal. But Lightning Breath itself, especially with Hellfire and Soul Shield, which in this game I didn't take, but if you have Soul Shield, it helps reset it very quickly if you didn't know. Um... Basically, if you have a 30% spell power boost, well, your Lightning Breath is going to be doing quite a bit of damage every 0.25 seconds. It's also going to put a slow, which means it's good. Uh, it's a good engage for your follow-up. There we go. It makes it very easy once they, the slow ticks up for your DPS to follow up and kill them. And so... Uh, there's generally a couple ways to go about it. In that case, I'm kind of waiting for the rare, and I was looking to set up a kill. The orb misses, and so I just pop Lightning Breath because I know with this much health, I'm not in much danger of dying, and I can basically ignore the Deathwing while focusing on what I thought was the Rainer kill. Now, obviously, we did not get that kill, but uh, as you can see here, like if the orb lands, we're very likely to kill them, and... The other reason the Lightning Breath here is good is because you can see my team's very chunked. And so if I stand here and I uh, deny the rest of the team passage, Genji's really realistically the only one that can follow up against my team. And so that's kind of a common one. I'm going to skip ahead to try and get to the next Lightning Breath faster. And so... You can see, again, I'm like looking to go in on the Stukov, but the Stukov gets away, so I just queue in on the Deathwing instead. So I'm in a position to try and follow up, and I pop Lightning Breath. Once I step out of Conflagration, if I had Soul Shield, I wouldn't need to step out of it, uh, because I would have had 75 Spell Armor, but in this case I don't, so I have to step out, and I just pop Lightning Breath, because I know I can torch the deathwing essentially by myself Greymane also hit him but even if he didn't my lightning breath would have been enough to kill and it also gives my dps a chance to try and follow up and uh hit the stukov here and so again that's what you want to be looking for is either essentially three things one you want to secure a kill with it two you want to use it as an engage to uh allow your dps to follow up because you're slowing them Hopefully, like, slowing most of the team. Because, again, look. You can kind of see what's going on. Stukov's just out of range. If we were a little closer, we would have been fine. Uh, the Genji also did a good job of pressuring the Ming, so she couldn't easily follow up. And the third and final reason to use it is... If you see like a dragon arrow coming or a deathwing stun coming that you just want to absorb, uh, just go ahead and pop lightning breath. Sometimes you'll be in the middle of a fight or like you'll see the arrow coming and so you'll tank it for the team and essentially zone the, the rest of the opposing team out with lightning breath and you've eaten their stun, which is a good trade for you. So yeah, those are the three main times you want to use lightning breath. I wanted to show off two that were kind of reasonable. Uh, just to give you an idea of when you want to pop it versus trying to look for other uh, things to do with your abilities. And uh, hopefully that gives you a better idea. Have a great day.